royals, come! Ease the spanker! Hold down! Cliff out! Stand up and cut! Down! Go sail! Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. Truth. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. It would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. Jackdaw handles knives. Pinched from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil! A hurricane. Will you have a dive there one day? See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. As it happens, I was in the We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't saw your breeches, lads. Monster, look at the size of her. Aye, and we've not last long face to face with her. Hear that, can we? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. 
Under cover of darkness, most likely. Ah, oh, you may come to that. Out. Let's get moving! Loose topsails, gallants and royals! to the wind. Loose all. Hearty life. Douse all but main. Charles. Oh, He's as reckless as they come. An old friend of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect him. Good news for us. Bleeding
Ready, go! Fire! We're ready, sir! And coming fire! fire. Sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. And maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. down to our deaths, Captain. Edward, we cannot be caught in that monster.
Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, stomp and shout aye! aye! Those who oppose, whimper nay! Never was the King's Council so unified.
edad. ¡Deténlo ya! ¡Pienso dejarle pasar! ¡Blanco claro! Uf. ¡No perderemos a esa raza! ¡Eh! Ya. You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Mr. Pitra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenye. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance.
The Cove is ours! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy, he won't bite. family friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies man. A beautiful city, no? So the main reason I asked to hear concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on time. I wouldn't bother. But some big wigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find, and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement.
Oh oui, bien sûr. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer and deliver it to the courier when she comes? It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door. Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do too. Don't abuse it. Log on and I'll walk you through this. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes, with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. December 23rd. December. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby. Come on. See that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, Ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature. It's an art, Sean, not a science. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. 
doing a job, but thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. <laughs>